Seriously though, how irrelevant can one guy be? Alright, I'm gonna keep this simple. There are certain rules that are, or should be, associated with horror movies, horror shows, and once in a while, romantic comedies. They can get pretty horrifying. These rules should never be broken. I repeat, never be broken. And no, I didn't get this idea from how it should have ended or Ryan Heger or whatever. I got this idea from watching episode 2 in the first season of Supernatural where the guy, right after hearing his best buddy get Wendigo while taking a piss, decides to take a peek outside. What do you know? Yeah, he ends up dying. These rules are for anybody who, for some strange reason, is being chased by a murderer who looks strangely like a witch doctor and needs some good advice when it comes to decision making and for the sake of yourself don't look at horror movies as a good example just don't anyway here we go rule numero uno never split up the one thing that scooby-doo and the gang always seem to get away with if you split up <coughs> if you split up chances are you'll get hunted down one by one with no help anywhere near you. Just imagine everyone in the group as a bunch of Daphnes. You'll get kidnapped and then most likely stabbed with a branch. Actually, mm, better example. Think of the game Dead by Daylight. Everyone gets hunted down, hung up like a used bathing suit, and then snatched up by the spider demon and then taken out of pure existence. The works. Rule number two, try, try your hardest, not the trip. Oh, for God's sake, you think that with all the horror movies where that one blonde bimbo was running her ass off in high heels after a drunken boyfriend just got shish kebabbed by Barney the goddamn dinosaur, at least one person would be smart enough to wash the ground for any stray branches that are just the right height for them to trip over them and snap their Achilles tendon in half and keep on running and actually have a chance to escape. But no, no, it never happens. Them dumbasses be tripping y'all. Rule number three, don't go back to save the one person who doesn't listen to rule two and trips over everything. May I just say, when I tried typing the words go back on my phone, when I'm typing this script in the past, it autocorrected to tobacco. Don't smoke, kids. There is always the one person who trips. To be honest, there's always that one other person who is tripping out, but that's irrelevant. And then there's that one person that says, Hold on, Sakishiana, I'll help you. And that person ends up getting killed with the person who tripped. Hi. <laughs> it's my new channel. New channel. I'm a role model for people. So. By looking at the statistics, we can agree that going back for your buddies is a bad idea. Unless you're being chased by something with amazing, unbelievable, totally unrealistic teleportation abilities like Slenderman or something. Irrelevant! And in a case like that, it really doesn't matter where you run because the fucking Coles mannequin will be behind you and rub you up and down with this ten- Apologies, I forgot YouTube actually has limits. Rule number four, don't be black. All right, before you obliterate the dislike button just because I said the last part, hear me out. It is a common stereotype for horror movies that the black guy always dies. Every single time, I don't know why, but it just happens. He may die first, or second, or sixteenth, but he'll for sure die. Now, I'm pretty sure there are some horror movies where the black guy actually lived till the end, but to ensure your survival, just be the brunette female protagonist. That usually works in your favor, unless we're back in Unfriended. Actually, would that, would that girl count as a protagonist? Ha! Huh. Rule number five, don't go upstairs. Oh my god! This is why architectural drafting, or whatever it is, is a fucking major. So pe ow. So people actually know the layout of their homes. Everyone always goes either upstairs or downstairs into the basement. Both are horrible places. Hiding from your chaser will never work unless you get extremely lucky, but I would not depend on luck. To put it simple, leave the damn house. Rule number six, police don't listen. No go to the popos. Now I'm not saying officers never listen to anybody, it's not what I'm saying here. 
Jeez, calm down. But if you're being chased by Freddy Krueger, aka Bernie Slanders, <coughs> and you try to, <coughs> and you try to explain your lovely experience, they'll think you're crazy, and then they'll send you to a psychiatrist, who will then give you sleeping pills, and then that will lead to your inevitable shish kebabbing. Yippee! And finally. Rule number seven, if there are two different entities, whether it be Freddy and Jason, or the Xenomorphs and the Predator, that is a good enough reason to get the fuck out. No need to interfere. So many people feel the need to be a part of everything. Damn it, that's not how it's supposed to work. Living is more important than pride, mainly because pride will always get you, dare I say it, shish kebabbed. Anyway, that's all I got. If you think this video was the tiniest bit relevant to the lives of human beings, go ahead and give it a like and I may do more rule video thingamajigglies in the future. And if you think this video was horribly irrelevant, please comment down below. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Good. Good. Glad we're on the uh, same page. Alright, cue the intro with the yin yang and the catchy music and the picture with the semi-hug guy wearing a putty cat mask. Thank you.